Good morning, everyone. How are you? Okay. Uh, I want to thank so much uh, Sir Claire and also Dr. Chaudhary for giving me this opportunity to be here with you all. And also, uh, I like what the doctor said, Chaudhary said that, you know, we're going to enjoy. And how many of you are here to have fun and enjoy, actually? Raise your hand. Just few. Now, it is very important. Okay, it's very, very important. And we have to do our best to have a good day. And it is also our responsibility and the practice to produce the best day as possible. And that's what we have to do. Maybe somebody else, the weather, the car, the house, the road, might not produce a good day, may not cause or produce a good day. But however, we as a compassionate being, we as our own friends, we as our own gardens, and that we have to do our best to give ourselves a gift of a good day. And about the today's topic, this morning topic, mindfulness and the healing. The Buddha said, well, there are so many worlds, infinite world, but when you come down, then there is a two, two world, world within you and world outside of you. And we, as a compassionate being, and we do our best to heal the both, both worlds. But now if you truly want to be a compassionate being and want to heal the world, but then you begin, where do we begin? What would we do? What would be our first step? And then he said, well, if you truly want to see the world outside to be healed, if you really wanted to work toward the healing of the outside world, but then you have to first do your best to heal the world within. And then he said, well, if you want to heal the world within, that is talking about you. And this world within is comprised of body, feeling, and the mind. If we go a little deeper, then it says there is a perception and the consciousness. Form, feeling, perception, mental formation, and the consciousness. These are the five area, what we call is five aggregate. We have to work toward the healing of this five aggregate. Oh, there's a five, then then I have to work in the different realm. But then say no. You know what? If you really wanted to heal the inner world, now what he said is, if you want to heal the inner world and the world outside, and all you have to do is one, one thing, and that is to take care of your mind. No? If you take care, then he said, if you take care of your mind, you will simultaneously, spontaneously uh, heal the ball within and the ball outside. And then what does that mean by the healing? I really want you to contemplate. What is healing to you? Healing to me is in the natural state. Natural state. Mind, body, and the feeling all are in natural state. It's in a very primordial pure form. That means Mind with clarity, purity, and without conflict. The conflict means mind and body and feeling are not just going in different directions, but rather they are all supporting each other to be in natural state. So uh, I will talk more about this later. And then I just wanted to do a simple uh, mindfulness practice, uh, if that's OK. Uh, <clears throat> so 
so all of you i just wanted to see where is your crown like just just i everybody try to touch a pet a little bit here everybody close your eye pet here all right now when you feel the sensation now that's fine now put your hand down now i want you to really pay attention to the sensation that you feel there and when you are ready, then all of you close your eye and say after me, Ah, we're going to say right long Ah. Ah. Now I want you to empower yourself to witness the state of your body. What do you feel in your body? from your toe to tip of your toe all the way to the crown of your head. I truly want you to witness, empower yourself, to allow yourself to attend to your own body. Whatever sensation you're feeling, whatever state of body you are in, you, you enter into great non-action. You neither reject, you neither accept. Just bear witness the state of your physical being. Then when you are ready, I want you to lower your attention to your heart center. If you don't know where it is, you can gently pat again where your heart is, at the chest area. Then when you are ready, I want you to pay attention to your heart center. And now say Om. I want you to witness the state of your feeling. I truly want you to empower yourself to be as intimate, as close and open to your feeling. How do you feel? Joy, pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral? This is the practice of bearing witness, witnessing the state of your being. How do you feel? And notice it, Be, bear witness it. If there is unpleasant feeling, you don't have to do anything. Please enter into the great non-actions. If it is joyful, don't uh, attach to it. Just be in the state of open present. Then when you are ready, now gently bring your attention to the uh, navel energy center, what we call is where the belly button is. Uh, if you can gently pat it, if possible. Now when you are ready, you say the hum. Now when you are ready, I want you to empower yourself to witness, to bear witness the state of your mind. What is in your mind? What kind of mental formation are coming, arising, abiding, and dissolving, coming and going? I don't want to go after any thought, any mental formation, but allow, provide them a space to be. And this is the practice of mindfulness, to be mindful of our body, to be mindful of our feeling and to be mindful of our mind. And this could be of great help to anyone who want to help other, the outside the world, and also who want to help the uh, inside world. Because usually we are so distracted that we don't attend to our feeling, we don't attend to our state of our body, and we don't attend to state of our mind. This is also the practice of preparing yourself to be ready to face each and every situation as they unfold. 
And then you ask to yourself, how often you're ready mentally, physically, and emotionally when you're about to take your job, about to do what you choose to do. It is very, very important to know the state of our being before we egg into our compassionate action. Thank you. Thank you very much.